What's up, YouTube Buzz? Today I'm, I'm going to show you uh, something you can make that you probably have right in your garage to put on those uh, the chainsaws, weed eaters. They have that for uh, can't get a tool in there. Let me uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take out this screw, that screw, take the top off this. Uh, chainsaw so we can get down to that hey, well, come on I know you gotta come off there damn it He has a screw holding it. Probably is. Yeah, there you go. Screw is sticking down into the plate a little bit still. So once you get the once you get this cover off, we get to the uh, carburetor adjustments, which are on this side. Now you can see I have my. Uh, have my adjustments already marked low is on this side high is on this side now I hate this stuff remember the stuff you buy it's called the great stuff foam that you put in stuff spray the foam and it fills in stuff well I got this generic one on purpose because I wanted to try the uh, you know the tube that goes on here was like this it was even longer I don't know I cut it off because there was shit in there but anyway the tubes that fit on these the great stuff or this generic stuff made by General Electric at Walmart or whatever works real well too so when you're done with a can and you're gonna throw it away keep the straws you can cut a couple cut a couple little pieces Like I said, low and high adjustment right here and right here. So you can take this tubing, stick it in there, give it a little bit of a push, and it snugs right on. This stuff fits, the end fits really well. I'm going to show you something else here too. Uh, I've done a video on these that work. I also found out these are all different sizes. Big, small, little huge you know whatever you could find some of these that fit too so actually this is a bar you know a two, uh, joining one for putting two wires together and squeeze it this actually you can fit in here too there see now these you can leave right on here put the cover all bad to leave it and then when you take it apart you can use them to adjust but I uh I use these Ones from the great stuff, the foam rubber shit. There you go. Now you can make them a little bit longer to hang on to them easier. Or something else you can do is, uh, hang on. can do if you cut them too short is get a regular tip screwdriver something that fits inside the block here then you can use the screwdriver to turn it too and if you make them a little longer you could squish the end if this stuff is hard enough squish the end and then you can just turn it like that too but you can make these a little longer but my point was that you can leave them on there you don't have to uh, take them off again so uh, for reference again Low is for the idle side, and high is for hitting it, you know, and revving it up for high. This is your gas side, the low. So you're going to fire up the whatever you're doing, 
chainsaw, you know, weed eater or whatever, fire it up. If it doesn't want to idle and, and kills and whatever, keep it running with the trigger a little bit and turn your low until you get it to idle the best you can on low. Once it's idling good, you can also have a carburetor adjustment somewhere probably. Well, see this one has an air cleaner right here, which I clean every time I use the saw because it's pretty particular. But there's a, usually there is an adjustment over here for the idle. And apparently this one doesn't have it. So, a lot of them have an idle screw over there. You can set your idle up and down. This one doesn't. So anyway, fire it up and turn your low, your L, until it idles the best it can. Then try revving it up. If it revs up real good, you're done. If it bogs, it goes boom, boom, or, you know, doesn't want to rev up. And give that about a quarter of a turn. Try revving it up and you can do it while it's running. If it starts to get a little better, remember which way you went and go another quarter turn that way. If it gets better, go another quarter of that turn until you can get it to rev up full blast. That's pretty much it. So these, uh, if you can find some of these little doodabbies, I got a whole bunch of these because I'm always doing shit. And they're all different sizes, you know. But this little bitty red one happens to fit on these two. Like I said, so. But the right stuff tubes, they fit real well too. And a lot of times you use this stuff so when you do, like I said, keep the tubes. These are probably, there you go. See that one? And I can turn it too, so. You can just leave them on there, you know, for further reference or pull them back off. And uh, you get this stuff, the tubing for this. And I've used a whole bunch of this because uh, the tube was about that long. But keep the tubes off these anyway and throw them in a drawer. Cut them into chunks and put them in your little thing with these or something because they work really well for, uh, and like I said, this one's a kind of a generic or it's made by General Electric. I got it at uh, Walmart, but I tried the great stuff. Uh, one other one, I can't remember what it was now because I used it, and then this. And all of them, the tubes worked really well. So there you go. That's how you can uh, put those on there and fix them for good. So you can leave them on there to adjust when you need to or adjust it and take it off. Again, do your low first till you get the idle the best you can. Then rev it up and do your high in or out and keep going both way, whatever, you know, till you get it the best you can and you're done. There you go. Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.